Hey, what's up? Ladies and gentlemen, man, so some brothers, man. Hey, listen. It's your man, 1247, the great one. Hey, gentlemen, man, it's a great day to be great. Hey, listen, brothers, man. Word of advice. Here's the thing. And, uh, you know, quick update about me. I know you guys haven't seen me in a minute, but listen, man. I, I made the move, man. I made the move. I made the move. I'm going to say I'm down here in Georgia. All right. You know, one thing I, I, I learned in life is, listen, you're not going to change anybody. You're not going to change anybody. And the thing is, fellas, especially you've been in the, um, especially you've been in the relationships. Listen, man, you're not going to change no female. All right. You're not going to change her. I wouldn't even try to, you know, there's no point in trying to change anybody. And that's what I learned, man. It's just, listen. You know, if you set boundaries, you, you, uh, if you have a standard, gentlemen, live by that boundary and standard. And if the person that you're dealing with can't can't um, abide by that standard and the things that you set forth, gentlemen, then you, just roll, you gotta roll out. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, gentlemen, that's, that's been me for the longest time, man. I've been, you know, pussyfooting around for the last decade. Didn't really have any standards, kind of winging it, had a, you know, had a winging it mentality of just winging it. The last decade, gentlemen, enough was enough. And, uh, man, I just packed up my bag, packed up my suitcase, gentlemen, I left, man. You know, nobody wants to leave their children behind, but listen, man, if you're dealing with somebody who, who's on joke times, and gentlemen, you can't, you can't sit there and play around. You know, so I came down here to Georgia, man, to reestablish myself. It feels good, man. It feels good. I, I, I'm not going to lie to you, man. It feels good to be, you know, solo dolo, figuring things out. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to lie to you, man. I do miss my two little girls. But listen, man, gentlemen, sometimes you got to make the hard decision and you got to you gotta relocate. All right, you try to work things out with this female, with this female, just want to do what she want to do. And there's nothing that you can do about it. You know, don't, don't, the thing is, gentlemen, I'm telling you right now, don't, don't change yourself. Fight this. It's, it's always good to change. It's always good to transform. It's always good to, to, to always be greater. You know, this, you know, my thing, uh, my motto is like, you know, 124-7. Transformation. Transformation is all day, every day. Uh, ordeal <clears throat> but if you're transferring to be the greatest version of yourself and the person you're dealing with is on joke time then gentlemen you gotta cut cords man you gotta cut cords with that female man you gotta cut cords I know we wanna stay around and be with this female for the kids but gentlemen listen I'll tell you this right now if you're gonna be with this female cause it's for the for the sake of children Gentlemen, man, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna put yourself in an early grave. You're putting yourself in an early grave because you're dealing with a female who, who number one don't respect you. Female don't respect. Well, first of all, if the female don't respect herself, she's definitely not gonna respect you. All right. But you're dealing with a female that's not gonna respect you, gentlemen. You're gonna put yourself in an early grave, trying to stick around for these children. It's not gonna work. It's just not gonna work. I know you brothers look just like me. You love your kids. Only th listen. Only thing you can do is separate from her, create something better, so you your kids can so your your kids can uh, uh, choose for themselves who they want to stay with. That's that's my mindset. Listen, I came down here. I got all my businesses. I got their businesses. I got their little YouTube channels. I got their little merchandise all with me. You know, I gave. Uh, working on the trademark for them so they can have uh you know their little business uh they, they have their own basically have their own name their intellectual property so that's what i've been doing with my kids you know instead of instead of being like every a lot of uh, these jokers around me chasing after big booty keys and man i man i got to work man left all these women alone and uh man i i, I uh 
got to work, basically. You know, and the other day, seen something that came in the mail. Didn't like what I seen from this female. You know, I'm not gonna put the, I put our business out there in the street, but it was, it was enough, was enough. And I can't help somebody with, when, by this, sometimes you can't help somebody when you're with that person every single day. You know, sometimes you, you, you know, we are the enabler because we're so, we want to fix stuff. You know, as a man, you want to fix stuff and make, make sure things are right and things of that nature. But gentlemen, I'll tell you this right now. You cannot fix a broken female. She has to fix herself. If she was broken before she came in a relationship, gentlemen, I'll tell you right now, don't even deal with her. I don't care how fine she is. I will tell you, gentlemen, I don't care how fine she is. I don't care how big her titties are. I don't care how, how big her butt is, gentlemen. If that female is broken, you cannot fix a broken person. You're, you being in a relationship, you doing more for her, it's not gonna fix her. That's not how it works. She gotta fix herself. She needs to be a whole person before you come together with her. Right? So, yeah, you gentlemen, man, you come out here. You come out here, man, you be the greatest version of yourself. Quick update about me, man. I made the I made the move, man. Seen something in the mail that I didn't like. Seen something. You know, we're going through this. You know, it's over and over again. It's like, okay, we're going through this over and over again. So it's not going to change. So guess what, gentlemen? I have to be the change in the situation. If you're dealing with a female who's on joke time, gentlemen, you have to be the change in your situation. You know, I'm not bashing her at all, but listen. This is, this is what you do. This is who you are. This is what you do. And guess what? I'm not going to be a part of this shenanigan. So to show you, you know, to show this female that I'm, I'm dead serious. Uh, 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 I'm dead serious about what I say, my standards, and, and, and the things I set forth. I got I to gotta roll out. And it's not I rolled out, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't roll out and go across the street. I rolled out and went to a whole different state. Yeah, gentlemen, man. You, 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 listen, mean what you say, say what you mean. If you gotta, you, you listen, if you have an SOP, not SOP, if you have a purpose, an SOP, and a vision, and you and you working these things, and you doing the things that you need to do to, to, to better yourself and better your society, and you're trying to build and do this, that, and the third, and that female's not with you, then off, off rip, she's a, she's a stumbling block. I off rip, she's a stumbling block. And she's not like arm in arm, hand to hand with, with, with what you uh with where you headed to. And she on joke time, gentlemen, that's a stumbling block. And I'll say it again, I don't care how fine she is, I don't care how big them titties are, I don't care how big that butt is, gentlemen. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. So once again, just giving you a quick update, gentlemen, on what's going on with me. I'm just gonna be honest, I have relocated to a different state. Yeah, as you see, I got my backpack on, you know, I'm doing it. This, you know, I feel like I'm back in the military all over again. <laughs> Feels like I've, uh, what's called PCS. If you guys know a permanent change of station, if you guys been in the military. I feel like I just PCS, man. I'm, I'm starting from scratch, but it feels good because now I can just focus on me. And focus on my children, build, building, uh, building both, both of our brands. You know, we got two, my children got their little brand, and I got my little stuff that I'm doing, and we gonna go from there. So I ain't gotta worry about her, and what she doing. And uh, I encourage you gentlemen to do the same. It's, it's hard because I cried. Don't get me wrong, man. I did a lot of crying because I didn't want to leave my kids, didn't want to leave my children. But I mean, I can't help them. You know, I can't help them if, if I, I can't help myself. I gotta help myself first. You know, you gotta get, I gotta get myself together. I can't help my children if I don't have myself together. Same thing with you gentlemen. Listen, man, the this situation is going nowhere. You know, you with a female and she's just, once again, she's on her own time. Gentlemen, cut it off, bro. I know them old cats back in the day, not nah, stick it out for the children's sake. Nah, don't stick nothing out for the children's sake. Your happiness and your well-being comes first. If you dead, it doesn't matter, right? If you die, then what? 
how you gonna make somebody happy when you're dead? Because you didn't take care of your body and your health and your your uh, psychological uh, state. You worry about everybody else, but nobody's worried about you. And once again, you sit there and you, you drop dead because of some some uh, some health some health situation. Then then how you gonna help somebody? Understand? So yeah, gentlemen, man. Once again, I don't I don't talk about I don't talk it. I walk it. Man, got the courage and said, you know what, enough is enough, I'm out. So, man, I listen, I seen something I didn't like in the mail. And the next day, man, packed my bags, I'm out. I've been, you know, I've been I've been dragging my feet for two years. I probably supposed to move out like two years ago, but it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm here now. So, tell me you do the same. No, don't listen. I'll tell you this right now. This is this is not the 60s. This ain't the 50s or the 40s. You ain't got to stay with no female on a, on a on the behalf of your children. I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest you do that. You got to be whole first. If you're not good, then gentlemen, listen. I'll tell you this again. If you're not good, then your children are not going to be good regardless. Okay. If you sit there and you die because you got you know stress and 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 heart disease, you know, heart disease and blood pressure and all that other stuff, gentlemen, what what good is it to stay around this female who's not on your team when literally, literally, she's killing you? That stress, that stress is killing you. The anxiety when you're with this woman is killing you. So what's the point of sticking around for the children when the female is literally killing you? All right, so yeah, gentlemen. Take care of yourself first, man. You come before anybody else. You. If it's not about you, gentlemen, listen, man. Don't listen. I'll tell you this again. You are nobody's tool. To your children or to your to what? To your community? Nobody. You're not a tool for, for abuse, use and abuse. You're not anybody's tool. Alright, so understand that. Get yourself together. Get yourself together. It's hard leaving, believe me. It took me two years. I said, hey, listen, listen, in 2020, I, I told her I was dipping. Back in like July of 2020, I told her I was dipping. Was about to, was about to, was about to pull the plug back in July of 2020. Was, was about to dip. But then I got scared. Oh, about my kids and what about this and what about that? And, oh, I didn't want to up and just leave my children like that. And gentlemen, it took me two, two years and some change. To make that move so gentlemen i know I'm, I'm not what i'm telling you is something i haven't experienced because i'm doing it right now it took me two years to finally dip two years gentlemen on wednesday like i said i seen something in the mail i didn't like and this, you know thursday i rolled out wasn't playing booked that ticket that night I'll see you when i see you so yeah, gentlemen, it feels good. It feels good. You know, I do a lot of thinking, a lot of pondering, but you know, I'm out here I'm working on myself and working on these businesses, working on my health, especially. You know, that's, that's uh, I got a new motto. I'll tell you guys my new motto in a little bit, but I got a new motto I came up with yesterday, man. I just, it's funny, I just came up with a, sh uh, a shirt. I'm about to be selling merchandise, man. You guys come to uh, 1247clothingcompany.com. And I got my new model, my new model for, for a new model for new life. You know, it's time for me to get health, man. It's about health. Health as well. So I definitely need to get healthy. I need to, you know, I just took a, took a before picture this morning, man. And man, I'm about to break this, break this weight down. Your boy about to get skinny out here, man. I'm about to, it's, it's about time, man. You know, I've, I've been through the hell. Been through the hell, spent a whole decade. I can't. Uh, I spent a, I spent a good amount of time in hell. So now it's time to time to bounce back and get back to life. Spread that good energy to all you guys and the people that's watching me, people that's hating on me. It doesn't matter. You know, this is not the first time uh, I've been on my own. Shoot, I did this coming out of the military back in 08. Same thing. My book bag and 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 a. And a, and a uh, 
packing a suitcase <laughs> back in 2008 when I first uh, showed up to Maryland. Same thing. So now 14 and a half years later, I'm doing the same thing here in Georgia. So, yeah, gentlemen. Yeah, gentlemen. Don't ever uh, put your life on hold for no female. Don't ever put your life on hold. Don't put your dreams on hold. Don't put your vision on hold. Gentlemen, you are here. You are here for a purpose. And if that female is not rocking with your vision and your dream, let her go. I know you got assets, homes, and cars. I get it. I get it. But gentlemen, it ain't nothing to, to lose a house. Ain't nothing to, to, you know, hey, you lose a car, gentlemen, cool. I ain't got no vehicle right now. But it is what it is. I'm not gonna let nothing, I'm not gonna let this stop me. You know? Got the green light from, from the from the most high. And I'm rolling. So uh, everything's gonna work itself out. Of course, you know, I'm a, I'm a Got my disability from the VA, so I got a lot of things going on for me right now. So I got I got help in a lot of different places, so I'm not worried about it. But, gentlemen, once again, don't put your life on hold for no female. Do not stick around in a dead relationship for the sake of your children. That'd be the dumbest thing you ever do in your life. That'd be the dumbest thing you ever do in your life. Yeah. So yeah, gentlemen, that's, that's it for me. That it's a brand new, it's a brand new life with brand new me. It's time to, it's, it's time to, it's time to, it's time to be. When I say be the greatest version of myself, gentlemen, I'm, I'm going to be the greatest version of myself. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it. This is my journey. You guys stay up, man. I appreciate every last one of you guys. Keep me in your prayers as I'm on this new journey of rediscovering myself. All right, peace.